Welcome to the DK Kim Foundation lecture series offered by the Center for Asian Business at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles, California. This program is funded by a grant from the DK Kim Foundation in Ontario, California. Thank you very much. Uh, I was born in Japan. I stationed in Japan. And uh, 1992, June 30th, I was assigned to fix Nito tire. So at that time, company's situation was, we have annual sales 6 million, only three employees, including me, $8 million inventory, which means we don't need to purchase anymore for more than years. Only three customer could purchase truckload monthly. The biggest customer, 65% share was about to bankrupt. And uh, two years later, they filed the bankruptcy. Chapter 7. The brand owner Toyo Tires of Nito demanding every month to discontinue Nito Tire program. That was a situation of Nito Tire. When I came here, I was given this key. So I asked, what is, th what is this key? This key was for private mailbox, for post office. And I was told, we don't have a people, so you need to go to the post office every morning and every evening before they close. And uh, the person said, you need, you cannot miss Friday night, otherwise, you will lose three days. So that was a situation. But more than that, this is my biggest memory. At that time, there was no email in 1992. So all communication was done by fax machine. So every day, 10, 20 pages, fax machine between Japan and here, and communicating. Easily, the paper document binder is getting piled up. But there was no three hole punches. Then I'll, when I did is I picked up rulers and I pointed out the three holes and I custom made the holes. But I found that this one in the office depot, oh, that was beautiful, I wanna purchase. $9.99 at that time at the office depot. But I need to get approval. All the money was controlled by Japan. I applied a request of $9.99.99 uh, uh, three hole punches. Three days later, reply comes from Japan. Unfortunately, your request is denied. <laughs> then what happened? So I went to the office depot. I purchased by myself. That was the first investment in myself in America. <laughs> 2018, last year. Our situation drastically changed. We saved the 600 million on your sales. JD Power, unfortunately, we don't have a JD Power. We call a third party independent research company called, named uh, Auto Pacific, ranked Nito Tire. Average price of Nito Tire is highest in the industry. We enjoyed a magnificent decade, one, ten, one decade between 2008 and 2018, we always use three numbers. 3%, 30%, 300%. You say, what are they? Industry, 2008 and 2018, grew just 3%. Market, 3%. But, Nito Tire grew 300%. So, 30% of total growth was provided by Nito Tire in entire industry. That's why we called magnificent decade. We have Facebook fans. We are number. We have number one fans. Almost 12 million Facebook fans in the industry. We are number one in the industry, in automotive industry. We are number eight. Our fans' number are more than Toyota and the Honda. 
So these are, these are our achievement. Then you ask, what, what did you do? We call it, we cross the river. We cross the Rubicon River. What is that? Manufacturer, normal tire company calls users, customers. But we call customers our fans. Normally tire, when you purchase tire, you have a negative feeling, like gasoline, water, electricity. Who would be excited to go to gas station, pump the gas? Who excited, who is excited to pay the water bill? But you have to pay because for a living, including tires. But we moved. We left traditions, positive purchase. You want to purchase jewel, apparel, perfume, including needle tires. That's what we did. Which means we have a worse ride, shorter life, more expensive. But we focus on getting fans emotion. That's what we did. Who is our fans? Confirmed? Basketball player, golf player, singer, true Hollywood star. Transformer. They used our tires. So back to 90s, it was not easy. I tried to call all potential prospect customers. I found a directory I called. First, I was calling with a Japanese accent and with a Nito tires nobody knows. There is no return call. I felt the phone is like frozen. So there was a decision. I kept waiting for the return call or I need to do something. But remember, so the company doesn't want me to pay anything, including uh, three hole punches. But I decided to purchase a ticket to go without appointment. So how can I find the buyer? Then I purchased map. And the first destination was a Houston. I purchased Houston map. Then I went to public phone. At that time, there was a yellow book. I took the tire section, and with the hamburger, I'm, I'm putting every tire stores in Houston. Then I went there with an appointment. I asked, who is your distributor, wholesaler? I kept asking, who do you like the best? Why? I kept asking. But some say, I'm busy. Go home. But some people say, yeah, 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 yeah. They are very kind to share their experiences. Then I took the note. Then I learned the two lessons about these activities. I went to Houston, Dallas, then blah, 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 blah. I went to many state cities. But I learned more know-how. First, get a person's name to break the ice. If I try to go to can I see the buyer? Who's that? Then uh, there was a very slim chance to be introduced to the buyer. But if I say, can I say, no, can I see Nick? Oh, Nick. Majority of the receptionists, without questioning, oh, there is a man for you, Nick, and then Nick will show up. Then I have a chance to talk. That I learned. Sometimes, uh, Surprisingly, I was uh, successful to start talking and uh, get the order. Then second one is very important the security lesson. Rooting for safety. I have to go in the morning, tough neighborhood, and I end up sunset in rich neighborhood. So if I end up uh, you know, my routing in a tough neighborhood about the sunset, 
uh, I was in trouble. So I learned. These two lessons I learned. I started to try to work hard to get older, but it's far away from turning into, from red ink to black ink. But big turning point came in 95. May 15th, Memorial Day. It happened at one tire store in Anaheim, named the Wheel Warehouse. They are still doing business. I was invited to a garage sale in Wheel Warehouse in Anaheim. There were three employees, me and one colleague, went to the garage sales. But no customers approaching Nito Tires. Very disappointing. But a couple of booths away, there was a wheel company, very popular. So all customers are going there and try to purchase. But surprisingly, he was Japanese. Then I approached him, how could you sell your product so well? We can't sell it at all. He said, oh. But I'm busy, but I will share my business background with you because I'm selling wheel, you're selling tires, we're not the competitors, I'm happy to teach you. Come to my office next week. I jumped into the phone and the following day, I visited his office. His name is Andy Ando. And uh, he showed me there was a trend for youth to start uh, modifying uh, Japanese uh, compact cars. So he went to, he took me to University City of Irvine, UCI, and he showed me parking lot. Then he said, people call University of Civic and Integra. Civic and Integra so popular at that time, and uh, many youth try to fix Civic and Integra. That's why my wheels are so popular. He told me, oh. So he opened my eyes, but I was not sure Nito Taya could get that trend. But there was a guy who pushed me, even though you have no name, you have a good chance if you make a right product because Youth are looking for their own heroes. Elvis, Kiss, Michael Jackson, Eminem. All the time, youth are looking for their own heroes. If you do the right thing, you could be their Elvis. Oh, that's an interesting concept. He pushed my back. Another story is like a little bit of quiz. This is uh, CD sales between 2004 and 2007. Classic, almost the same. And the country, a little bit down. But Latino, almost the same. But look at the R&B and the rap, almost half. Why? Why CD sales are going down for rap music? Because, one word, iTunes. Because Youth are more flexible to try new things. So that's why you will have a good chance. Because of you target youth, then you have a more chance. He pushed my back. Then I decided to chase the Honda Civic and the Integra market. We luckily be successful. So after youth market, Civic and the Integra. Next is the domestic youth market, Mustang market. It was gifted by one person. So I will talk about him later. So, oh, at that time we started becoming a break even point. So, company is going to the right shape. But another big tail window came to us which was bling market, luxury SUV market, because of one vehicle, sensational debut of Navigator. Before Navigator, Ford's SUV was like this, Bronco. 
but Ford Motor Company changed Bronco to Navigator. That was very sensational at that time. That's why Michael Jordan and a lot of celebrity went to these vehicles. Then we made the tires. We are the only company who can fix like this one with a big wheel. So that changed their appearance drastically. And a lot of rappers talking about changing the wheels, and we are one of them. So we got this trend. Company is moving to next level. But there was another problem, European. We like to say thank you one person, uh, JC. But we will talk about him later more. Then a uh, European vehicle, even though we are targeting into luxury vehicle, European car owners, Beamers, Mercedes, Audis, the, they don't want to use a Nito tires. And we went to the many uh, stores say, you know, you don't have an OE, and uh, your name is too awkward, and uh, they want to use a Michelin Continental European name. Even the Bridgestone Japanese company sounds like American or European, they will give you a chance. So you have no chance. Then somebody said, you have to change a Nito name to some kind of European name, cool European name. Then you may have a chance. Some say you need to have an OE business in a Beamer and the Mercedes, which many companies try to do that, but it takes time. How can we break the ice? Then one man said, well, if we will get their emotion by appearance, we might have a good chance. Oh, that's great. The 90% owner doesn't like that appearance, but if we will get one fanatic fan, we have a good chance. Oh, that's great. But we don't know how to make a fanatic exotic tires. There is a no designer, they are industry designer. So another brainstorming came, and the one guy said, we go to schools in Pasadena or Detroit, you know, car designer school. So we want you give them opportunity and a student make some kind of exotic design. That's an excellent idea. So we went to three top car designer school in the country. So we went there, we got a permission, we have some kind of a contest. We did it. So we waited, closing, but no applicants. And we said, why? Because all students went to the school to design car. Nobody wants to design tires, like today. So tire company's speech is not attracting you, but thank you for your attendance. But so we said, how can we do that? Then we discussed. Then uh, we found that the matching to the maximum price. At that time, Ferrari is giving 20,000. OK, we match to Ferrari 20,000 from 2,000. It's a big jump, but we need a good design. Then closing date came. Many applicants come. So then we pick up a design. These tires. Then we tested with uh, many European owners. Everybody said, that's good, just very innovative, exotic, very good response. Say, so, okay, we are ready. We started selling, but almost zero sales. Then we said, why? Because we talk around, and many said, there is a very exotic and fascinating design. Who is blocking us? We found at the tire stores. Tire store doesn't want to try very awkward, weird, unheard of brand for BMW and Mercedes. All the stores are rejecting, even though consumer wants to try these tires. Wow. Then our inventory is going up, and then the manufacturer is screaming, oh, your project is about to fail. 
So then we talk and the talk. Then there is a one person whose name is a JC. I talked about him. He had a brilliant idea. He said, he is a car enthusiast. He knows a Ferrari, Maserati, many exotic cars, blog, Porsche. He told me, there was uh, some charismatic leaders who lead in blog. And many follows the charismatic leaders. So if charismatic leaders recommend you should buy Nito tires, and many will follow. Oh, that's a great idea. So we secretly approach the charismatic leaders. Please try our product. And uh, if you like it, please write in the blog. If you don't like it, please forget about that. We asked, and everybody accepted. Then they wrote a great thing about our tires. Then again, they went to stores. Store people say no. But they said, no, I need a need tires. Then our sales finally start selling. Then people said, oh, I love Nito tires. They put in a more blog, and our sales is taking off. I feel charismatic leaders are Ronald Reagan, famous speech. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. So we feel like wall is gone. So our tires were focused and featured by Transformer, famous movie. He's using our tires. And uh, one consumer said, I love your European tire. So I asked my hair cutter to make your pattern. So he loves our tires. So I, as I mentioned, we are successful in grasping our fans' emotion. That's why we are getting a success in the European vehicles. So. Then the last point is off-road. That is generating our magnificent decade. There is a leading magazine, trucking magazine in this country. One day, this is his cover at that time. His name is Kevin Wilson. He told me he experimentally put lift at the vehicle for cover. He said, his sales is tripled. He told me, Tomo, I think the trend is about to change, lower the truck. Instead of lower the truck, customer wants to lift up the vehicle. This trend is coming. But look at the tires. There is no big wheel for the lift up truck. If you make big wheel, big tires, for lifted vehicle, so you will own this market. He mentioned, wow, that's a, one of the greatest advice I got. I jump into, I push the manufacturer. We are standing on the oil field. We should make the tires. But there was a moat. There was a barrier from Japan because they calculated to produce our products. It will cost $15 million. At that time, equivalent to our annual total profit, entire company. So we can do that. That was a reply. Then I can't give up. So I keep bringing materials more data, more witness, I'm bringing. One year passed. Then I told them, nobody is trying to this idea, but if we will miss, we will lose so much big chance. We should make tires. We should be the first company to bring this product in the industry. 
So we will get the respect and we will own the market. Then, this is uh, at that time the, in downtown Los Angeles, Arco building, 32nd floor. I was working, and the uh, general manager of manufacturer came to the meeting. I'm pushing one day, full day. I keep talking to him. Then he finally said, if we will make our product, if we will fail, company will have a fatal mistake. If we will fail, can you jump from the window 30 seconds forward to the ground? That he asked. And I asked. Yeah, he was asked me. So I said, I was shocked. You know, I didn't expect that kind of question. Then uh, I gave the answer. I cannot jump from here to ground because I have a family. You know, I have a son. But, you know, I will resign the company. Surely, if we will fail. He said, okay, I will go back. Let me see what I can do for you. Then uh, he convinced company and he found a way to make a tire with uh, some kind of laboratory, all the system, he can make an experimental product with less than two million. That's what he did. He brought a tire, these tires. This went very well. And we grasped our fans. One fan loves this tire, lifetime commitment. One person loves this tire. He made a design of engagement ring. Special order. He went to jewelry store. He loves tire. He made a pair ring for him and his fiance. We are successful in getting our fans' emotion. So I learned today, I want you. I understand that after graduating, so you will go to the business or you know, politics, anything. But one of the most important thing for you is to keep your passion. So first one is crossing the river con story, Rubicon River, then passion at your intersection. That's the second theme of today. So I really appreciate many female attending this seminar, I want to share one female story, changing the world. Her name is Ellen Church. Probably majority of you never heard of her name. But you will see what she did soon. She was born in Iowa, 1904. She was born next to airport. She loves airplane. She loves airplane, and she wanted to be pilot. But unfortunately, at that time, it was very conservative society. She became a nurse. But after she became a nurse, and uh, she said, this is not what I want to do. Then she got a flying license, pilot license. She wants to get a job, but nobody hired a female pilots. Then she had uh, some innovative idea. So if you have a passenger, you better to have a nurse in the airplane when your passenger will have uh, some sickness. So you need to have that idea. She went to all airplane companies, airline companies, she approached. Luckily, one company say, yes, we'll give you a chance. That was flight attendant. She convinced with her idea, with her passion. Then now, she generated a flight attendant job all over the world. Her passion, her innovative approach. Another story, Titos. The owner of the Titos, founder of the Titos, 
was graduated from a petroleum engineering. She became a petroleum engineer. But she, he had some passion. I love vodka. I want to make a vodka. And he applied a 19 credit card to get $90,000. He started his own vodka company. Then he became a billionaire. He said, this is a word changed his career. So if you will find the intersection, what do you like, what do you are good at? the most successful point for your life. These are examples. Passion changes your future. That's I want to share one story. Another story is how can I be your choice? I learned from two Americans who is millionaire and becoming a billionaire. I told you, Dario, he just gift the Mustang market because he was leading boutique uh, tuning company in the Mustang. His company is uh, well respected. Then uh, once he is giving photograph, I'm using Nito tires, and uh, many of his fans in Mustang community will pick up our product. We are just lucky. And uh, he is very successful. I asked him, why did, we, did you give us a chance? He said, I am very much open to learn anything. So then I listen to you, and I have a good feeling about your company. That's why I gave you a chance. So, you know, I can't say thank you enough for him, but the Mustang market was gifted by one person. He gave the community of a Mustang to Nito Tire in, with an instant credit. It happens sometimes. The other thing is uh, JC, you know, as I mentioned to you, he is the CEO of Nativo, is one of the future uh, IT company, and they are getting very successful. And he always say, how can I help you today? He's also very open to us. One day we have a meeting. So yeah, you know, I have a headache because a printing company, magazine is getting shrinking, 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 move to digital, but the printing company is try to raise the price instead of going down. But also then uh, I don't have any good digital advertisement thing. I had a dilemma. He said, hmm, why don't you start uh, making your own magazine or making your own digital magazine? Then I said, can we do that? He said, uh, he will help you. Then, we started calling, brand publishing. In front of our employees, we get all the business card of marketing. We shred it, and we prepare for a new business card of brand publishing. That's a symbolic thing. We will become our, we will start up publishing our own magazine. We will start making our own digital magazine. We put the efforts. This is our printing magazine. Then we started making our own digital magazine. We call it a driving line. Annually, in total, 36 million engagement we have. But probably there is a no good measurement about the 36 million. World Series, one of the game, its average per game is 80 million. NBA final per game, 20 million. So that is one of the engagement we have. So we think we have a pretty good achievement as uh, evidence. We have a fun appreciation day. We rent a parking lot of uh, Angel Stadium. So 
We just advertised in our digital magazines. Last year, 26,000 people gathered using our only digital magazine. No other advertisement. That is the power of social. I really respect and appreciate Mr. Park's vision. He took me in front of a Silicon Beach, and he told me, tire company story, boring, but tire company is using digital marketing. That's he wants to share this story with students. That's his vision. So I was touched by his vision. I try my best to speak my experience today. Then another achievement is, uh, as I mentioned, a third party independent research company ranked us as a number two brand royalty after Mission Tire, which we are very proud of. So these are stories I want to share. Crossing the Rubicon River, passion, then you are open all the time. How can I be your choice? So then my last point is change, technology. You know him, right? One of the strongest person in the planet. So, will you compete against Floyd? Will you? I will. So everybody think, oh, you know, this guy's crazy. You know, so I understand that. But I will compete against him. But I never say boxing. Who is using a chopstick better? I've been using a chopstick more than 50 years. I have a chance to win. Oh, well, who can speak Japanese better? I have more chance to win. That's my point. How could you compete against a giant? But if the rule will change, that's my point. So getting tailwind, getting tailwind ahead everybody. If it's good for your business, change faster than anybody. So I mentioned about the bling bling market. Then after Navigator, Cadillac, all the Cadillac dealers nation are very upset. We don't have an SUV. Then General Motors said, oh, it will take time, five years. We can't wait. Then General Motor decide discontinue police vehicle, Impala and uh, um, Caprice for taxi. Then we will change this plant uh, factory to Escalade. Then almost Navigator's production would be tripled, quadrupled because of General Motors. That is our tailwind because we are staying ahead, everybody is following. So our sales is dramatically increasing. So as I mentioned to this story, off-road vehicle. We made a product off-road with a big wheel. This is a vehicle called Super Yuri. The sales was 97, just like a 48,000. Two years later, 360,000. Big tailwind. There is a one person we send the capital of the off-road tires, state of Louisiana. So then uh, we went to the top store in Louisiana, sending our employees try to put our product in their shop. But store manager say, store owner said to us, my customer will never buy effing my tires, you are totally wasting your time. That we were told. But to this vehicle, from this to this, there was no other choice. And later, he purchased our tires. So that is my point. If we are ahead of the game, we can win. So this is our who is using better chopstick users. 
So I have a chance to win the Freud. So another story. The last three I'm talking about how we can get magnificent decay. It's from Russia. It's from China. A little bit of technical point. Passenger vehicle like a Civic has five nuts, five bolts to cover their weight. Lincoln Navigator needs to have six bolts to cover that weight. Super Duty, which we're talking about, eight bolts to cover weight and high torque. So when we try to get the aluminum wheel, we need to use a forged wheel. Forged wheel is three times expensive than casting wheel. Very expensive. That was our bottleneck. We couldn't fly. But there was a guy, he found the Russian technology because Russian technology and the World War II is most competitive because they have a metal technology. They are making a bigger, bigger bell for charge. So their metal technology is one of the top in the world. And using that technology with Chinese affordable manufacturing system, he combined. He went to China, convinced them to invest. Then his name is Will Pros, Mr. Jody Gross. And people call him Will Companies Bill Gates. His achievement is between 2009 and 2017, Chinese wheel company boomed because of that technology. And he brought the products to America. That's why we could enjoy magnificent decade. And he became the only two partners, technical partners in Ferrari, him and Shell, Petroleum vehicle, uh, petroleum company, uh, official Ferrari technical partner. That's his achievement. And as a witness of American dream. How about the Nitto tires? We built a factory in Georgia. This is our factory. More than 70% of Nitto products, Mr. President, made in USA. So we didn't go to China. We Build products here in the United States. Amazon approached us. So before that, 2009, this is our call. 23% is technical support, positive regard, because customer has interest in Nito tires. But unfortunately, 77% of the calls complaining, complaining, complaining. So then uh, that was our bottleneck. Then one employee say, we need to change, but we have a greater program, salesforce.com. So we will research in blog. There is a negative comment of Nito tires. We will shoot to complain before it would be spread out. So that was a technology. Then 2016, it's opposite, three quarters our call coming from our fans, consumers, are positive. One quarter is complaining. Totally upside down. Then Amazon came to us. You have a five stars. We are selling more than 300,000 industrial products. Nito Tire is ranked after both. You are number two. So that's our achievement. So the point is, as Mr. Professor takes vision, this is we like to talk. Change, I said staying ahead of the game, trend, but speed. Staying ahead of the trends with the cutting edge technology. If we use technology ahead of the game, you see the with 
witness, you see the proof. And uh, LMU graduate Martha is one of the witness. As a closing, this is the word I like to share with you. The point is, who will survive is not the strongest, not the smartest. Who will adapt to environmental change? That person is best chance to survive. This is the story of Nito Tires. Thank you for your time. I think, uh, quite frankly, we don't have any fixed idea. Sometimes you have a fixed idea, you have good understanding of culture, you have uh, sometimes hesitation to move. But we are coming here with very fresh and uh, no idea. So we are focusing on what's happening and what will happen. So there is no prejudice or no prefixed idea. So we can move very quickly. So that is our advantage as a Japanese company. That's what we think. But on the other hand, our headquarters has no idea. So that's another uh, other disadvantage. We have uh, more time to convince Japanese headquarters to share our vision. So there are pro and con. We have a, a couple of ideas. So for example, like uh, we sponsor for the local team, Los Angeles, uh, Dodgers, and Anaheim. We try to pay back to uh, the, our community team because uh, uh, even the baseball team is a profitable organization, but the community is paying a lot of uh, uh, tax to build the stadium and helping. So we see the opportunity to do that. And uh, also sometimes we will try to uh, support uh, STEM program, science technology program, uh, Discovery Cube. We try to help the STEM program for youth uh, STEM tech, uh, education. So we try to, not a lot, but we did a sum for the community. We were focusing on enthusiast market, but then now youth people has a less interest in uh, youth market, then we need to change our, uh, our business model. So we are discussing internally. So we need adapter for new environment change. So as I mentioned, if we will fail, we'll not be able to survive. We are focusing on the United States market. That's an excellent question. We try to challenge the global uh, expansion. For example, like uh, Canada. Like the uh, US and Canada is very close, we thought. But the big difference is Canadian has a uh, huge tax. So they have a uh, less affordable income and uh, gas prices are high. If you will cross the border, Canadian vehicle is small and high tax. And uh, they are not willing to fix vehicle and uh, they are owning a smaller vehicle. So we couldn't go to the Canada. So we see some similarity of in uh, Australia. We try to do that, but still Australia is uh, one of the commonwealth of uh, British uh, uh, Union, and then uh, we couldn't be successful. And we found out, so United States is free country and a great country for business opportunity. If we go to Europe, if we go to Australia, Canada, we have a more difficulty. Then uh, we have an internal discussion, better to stay and focus on the United States. Our business model will work more in the United States. If we try to go to expansion, there is a lot of regulation and a uh, lot of rules, so we don't see our business model will not work in other countries with our expenses we found out. Yeah, we did have a, a youth internship. We did have a, almost uh, 10 years we did, but uh, some kind of regulation changed, and uh, there is a paid or unpaid, 
and our HR becomes uh, extremely conservative. And uh, unfortunately, we are not uh, uh, offering it anymore because of uh, some kind of regulation. So, or actually, we are the only successful in America only. So others, we are not doing well. We are trying our best with the two ways. One is a marketing ahead of the game. Secondary, we try to use uh, available computer technology. We are working on that. But on the other hand, there is a huge competition in the technology of making uh, tires, manufacturing, and the technologies. So if we would not be ahead of the games, so even though we have a good cook, but uh, we don't have a good material, we are not competitive anymore. So I think, as I'm, you can see, we are showing our success. And everybody is trying to research and catching up. But now the battlefield is coming from not the marketing and uh, uh, computer technology is moving to how to make a tire technology and the designing technology. So I'm not able to speak about how competitive we are, but we are focusing on marketing. We are focusing on uh, available computer technology. So try to compete against uh, other competitors. Mm -hmm.